We had a little uh, long, took a little longer on the floor. The custody, custody of the border, of the border. Everyone uh, he started making, sending signals. The U.S., Mexico, Canada. If that's not the accurate, some people call it after NAFTA. Some call it NAFTA 2.0. Working together to, to uh, make pass that. Not to, uh, if we where where the fat. There are three things. There are three things. There are three things. There are three things. We're very busy people. Okay, last time I checked, this is three, not this. It was worse yesterday. We played another clip. She uh, could not put a subject with a predicate in the same sentence. What's I, going on? You know, I mean, obviously, I'm 76 years old. She's a couple years older than I am, and, and we all age a little differently. My sense is she has a very big job. I think she's getting worn down. She, she always was very neat, very proper. Uh, I think she's very inarticulate, uh, which she's never been in the past. And I think to a certain extent, uh, she needs to kind of step in the background and not be out front as much. And she shouldn't be the point person uh, leading the Democrats. Uh, Is she speaker in name only now, being actually controlled and whipped by her own sort of radical branch of the Democratic Party? Well, it's a split party, and certainly the young, dynamic uh, uh, Democrats who want to impeach this president uh, uh, don't go along with her. Uh, she is. She's sort of the old guard, and I think this is the whole Democratic problem. And they got, got Biden and, and everybody else that are way over the hill running for president. Uh, she certainly would be perceived as over the hill at this point in time, as probably I would be, too. But at the end of the day here, my sense is she should not be out there doing the kinds of things she's doing. She will diminish herself and diminish her membership.